Philadelphia woman known for her lavish parties, including her son's $25,000 prom party, has been charged with social security fraud. Sardia Schiller's extravagant prom send-off for her son that included a camel made national headlines last year. According to the indictment, Schiller applied for social security benefits, claiming she was disabled and unable to work. After the benefits were approved, Schuler allegedly continued working, including operating her own restaurant. Thank God for the, you know, for all my people. Billy, say what's up to the folks. Thank God for, thank God for all my people, y'all, that's making Dubai come to real life. Don't play with me about the good boy. Y'all know I don't play no games about my boy. I said I'm bringing Dubai. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. This is the beginning. You hear me? photo booth. North Philly. I'm bringing Dubai to North Philly. I ain't even finished yet. Don't get it twisted. Dessert table ain't set up yet. I even got the costumes for y'all. Whoever ain't bring it, I already got them for you. Don't get it twisted. I said I'm bringing Dubai to North Philly. That's what the doing. Yeah, anything for the boy. Don't play with me. All this, all this work we did. I Devastated, y'all. But guess what? I'm not gonna let this be down today. Dubai is coming to Philly, 35th and Clearfield. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again and hit you with a video. Now, when I first woke up this morning, I knew something was in the air. I felt something in my spirit. God kissed it and the devil missed it. Now, we have a story coming out of Philadelphia where we have a mom. And a lot of you all might remember this video last year because I was shocked by it. I was totally blown away, in other words. But we had a mom who threw a big-ass uh, Black Panther three theme, excuse me, prom party for her son. I'm like, why in the hell is she throwing all this? And how much did this cost? I mean, did you see in the neighborhood and all my uh, people in PA and not Port Arthur, Texas, and big shout out to you all also, but all my people in Philadelphia, could you please chime in in the comment section and let me know was it really going down there? Because this woman done got herself in a whole heap of shit. Now, you know when somebody say heap, that mean a lot. She done got herself in a whole heap of trouble. Now, when I looked at this party, I was totally blown away. Because I was like, well, damn, you know, this have to cost a lot of money. And come to find out, you know, I thought the woman just, you know, was just well off. She just had money like that. But come to find out, things ain't always what they seem. And also, one thing about it. If you're going to sit up here and try to defraud the government, don't go posting videos. You're throwing big-ass lavish parties. You got funk-ass camels around laying down. I love animals. Don't get me wrong. I love cats and dogs, not camels. But anyway, uh, you got camels laying around. You got people dressed like they fresh out of Wakanda. I mean, damn, the Black Panther movie just doesn't totally did something to these people out here. I mean, it's just a damn movie. You show me on the map where Wakanda at, and I will show you on the map where Pangea at. Anyway, now, this woman also opened, had a restaurant, had to open up a restaurant, run a restaurant, and due to you filing disability, saying you're unable to work, you cannot be properly managing and running a, a restaurant as far as working in there. Now, she's doing all this stuff. And also, don't you know when you sue somebody, whether you uh, sue your former employers, just say if you got hurt on your job, you're trying to get workers comp, don't you know they're going to have a private investigator following you around? You know what I'm saying? And th that might be just for a few thousand. So imagine if you're getting disability every month and they're really breaking you out. They're going to have somebody on your trail like uh, a bloodhound on shit. You feel me? They're going to track you down and show sure enough, when they looked a little deeper, they realized, oh, she ain't hurt. She basically tried to swindle us. I'm going to read a snippet from this story, and I'm going to give my opinion. Surely, as we go. Philadelphia mom, 44 years old, and she does look uh, 44, who shelled out 25 k on Arabian-themed prom sent off for her son, complete with camel in three days. Three days. Damn, how many do he need? I guess you're trying to keep it to the old traditions. These ain't my dates. These just my concubines. Now, with fraud for collecting disability and faces 140 years behind bars. Damn, who did she kill? Who did she kidnap? Who did she rape or molest for her to get all of this? Lord, forgive me. Now, Sadia Shula sound like somebody who's about they hustle. hustle. Sound like somebody who's known for uh, getting over on a one two sound like somebody who know how to make that money now Sadia Shula the mom who dropped 25k on 
her son's 2017 prom party has been charged with wire fraud, theft of government funds, and social security fraud. And you don't want that right there. Because I'm telling you, boy, they can get your social security number, boy. It's going to be like hell on earth. You're going to be thinking that you done died and went to hell and you still alive. Looking around at other people like, damn, I can't be in, in hell yet, but it feels like it. Now, the 44-year-old was said to have applied for benefits describing herself as disabled and unable to work, but continue working any damn way. So if you're going to sit up here and you're going to tell the government that you can't work and, you know, they're going to go along with it like they do everybody else, because what, uh, in this court of law, you're innocent until proven guilty, and really that's how it is, because they're going to make sure, you know what I'm saying, you're okay, you might send you to a doctor too, you can fake that all you want to, but how people mess up, they want to start working, they want to open up businesses, they want to go on lavish trips and stuff and do all kinds of shit, and this is how you can tell when they ain't used to no money because damn you gonna need that money now to get you a damn good lawyer and you might have you might not but i tell you at the same time look for a whole backlash of this shit because they might end up taking that damn restaurant too anyway she even operated a restaurant called country kick cooking costing the government close to thirty-seven thousand. so the damn the government paid for that restaurant too oh they finna get that boo boo that's gonna be called usda cooking shula could face a staggering 140 years with the maximum sentence down they gonna give her more than big meach in in uh terry put together golly now a philadelphia mom who made headlines for a twenty-five thousand elaborate prompt sent off for her son has been charged with social security fraud the u.s attorney's office in philadelphia announced charges of wild fraud theft of government funds and social security fraud tuesday against 44 year old Sadia Shula. They're not playing. I mean, they trying to get a, on every damn thing. You want to ball on our, on our expense? Oh no. Welcome to America. Prosecutors say that Shula applied for benefits describing herself as disabled. Like I'm just down and out and I'm barely getting by. I'm on my last leg. Literally. And unable to work, but continue working any damn way, including operating a restaurant called Country Cooking, and they right there opened up eyes right there, because you in Philly, and they consider that the city, and they consider the south the country, what the hell you doing open up a Country Cooking, it should have been city cooking, costing the government close to 37, you 37k, not 37 dollars, not 37 cents, because some of y'all might be sitting there, what, 37 dollars, no, 37 thousand, that's how she opened up that restaurant, oh, they finna come get that if they ain't already got it now, so, for whoever in that area, go on over there and get your last little, uh, chicken, your crawfish, whatever the hell they sell up in there, now, there's evidence she defrauded the government, and no matter who you are, the government brings charges, and you better ask Al Capone, you better ask John Gotti, you better ask a lot of damn people, they do not play about they, uh, they buckety bucks, now, Beth Leahy, Deputy Chief of Healthcare Fraud, explained to ABC uh, News, and damn, they even got the Deputy Chief on the damn case. Oh, you know you done messed up. Now, they say, oh, she done got over 100K from us? Oh, off with her head. Lee added that the woman claimed to be disabled as far back as 2014, but she was found to have still operated her eatery. Like, I'm disabled. I can barely work, but I'm still finna go up here and uh, chop these greens up uh fry this fish you know what i'm saying make sure you use cornmeal y'all mess up when y'all use flour use your damn cornmeal and if you got the extra money use that peanut oil i don't know the recipe i can just tell you how to cook and fry fish now she's up there doing all this stuff just getting her little jug on juggling the fish making it jump right in the grease oh you supposed to be hurt why ain't you sitting your ass down somewhere only i do just sit down somewhere and collect that check but no but no this is what happened when people think uh uh, something is for free and let me tell you something in America I don't know about the rest of the world and also the rest of the world too but I can only speak for America in America ain't a damn thing free only thing free is uh is a ass whooping that's it because it, 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 it costs to be born it costs to die if you think I'm lying uh check out how much a funeral cost is how much a casket costs now she stated when asked about the quality of life she said that she couldn't rarely cook any meals I could barely cook and that her cousin cooked for her. I'm so I'm so down and out and I'm doing so bad. Who my sorry ass doing so bad? I got to have somebody else to come cook for me. Can you please, mister, send me a dollar or two? Can you please send me a damn meal over here? In her reality, Miss Shula was running uh I mean in reality, Miss Shula was running a food takeout business for Country cooking. Now, she said she could barely cook for herself. That's what she told the people. These are not my words, people in Philly, so please don't be mad at me. Don't send a homie Gilly the Kid or Benny Siegel after me or, or, or Oshino or nobody. And big shout out to them also. But if she told the government, look, I have to have somebody cook for me and I can barely cook for myself, 
How in the hell are you cooking for the whole city then? How in the hell are you cooking? I don't know what side of Philly this is on, north side, south side, whatever. How did you open up a damn restaurant and you can only supposedly, allegedly, barely cook for yourself? Oh, man, they finna, oh, they finna bust your ass wide open like 85. Now, Shula could face a staggering 140 years with the maximum sentence according to Fox. The period would include supervised release and full restitution of the money to the government. That means you really going to be heard now. That means you really going to be heard. We finna take it all, boo-boo. Now, her lawyer, Tariq El Shabazz. I thought they finna say Tariq Nasheed. And big shout out to Tariq Nasheed also. I thought they finna say Tariq Nasheed. But it's Tariq El Shabazz. Asserted that the allegations weren't true. So let's hear what Mr. Tariq have to say. Miss Shuler suffered from a stroke. And as a result of that she was in rehab and unable to do anything for two plus years around the same time she was allegedly perpetrating this particular fraud he said oh so damn you said all that to say what basically she was getting her hustle on that's all it really is because uh once 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 the government hear this that's what they're gonna say they're gonna play rick ross on every day i'm hustling 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 now shula threw a twenty five thousand dollar dubai theme prom party for her son Johnny Eden Jr. last year. Johnny, you done got your mama in trouble, man. Your, the, the, the love you have for your children, it'll make you kill somebody. It'll make you, you know what I'm saying, give your own life. And it also evidently make you commit Social Security fraud. Damn it. You would have just had to take your ass to the party regular like the rest of the people going to the prom. Damn all this trying to spend all this money you ain't got on your kids. This is what we call uh, where I'm from. Let me see. What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, somebody just said it. Thank you. Uh, living above your means. This is what happens when you live above your damn means. Sometimes you got to stay uh, where you're at for right now until you can do better. Not saying we don't want to see you to do better. Me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the government, but me, I'd love to see you do better. Ball, ball, ball. But at the same time, when you're doing shit like this, you're going to fall, fall, fall. Now, the pre-pump party on June the, uh, 2nd, 2017 in Philadelphia included a live Arabian camel, not a pit bull from Baltimore, not a damn donkey from Tennessee, not a Mississippi mud puppy from Mississippi, but a damn camel from Arabia. How damn long did it take that camel to get over here? And did the camel make it back safely? That's what I want to know. Because we got to look out for our damn fellow species. Is the camel okay? Cause that's a long ass trip. You try traveling in a damn barge or in a box all the way from Arabia and watch how tired and thirsty you be. Now, a rented Lamborghini. Damn, why could nobody bring a Dodge Neon, a Geo Storm, a damn 1985 Gremlin or a 1984 DeLorean from Back to the Future? Anything to keep the damn spotlight after you, but she's not through yet. Also, a Lamborghini, a Range Rover, and the big one, the double R, Rolls Royce. Yes, Rolls Royce, and probably was the Phantom. You can't pull up like that. You cannot stunt like that. You can't stunt on them people like that. Now, three tons of sand. Three tons of sand. You know how much three tons of sand costs? Shit, that's about damn what? Thirty-five hundred damn dollars right there, just for the damn sand. And three dates, all wearing custom design gowns, costing fifteen hundred dollars each. Three helpers dressed in three damn different dresses. Let's see what the name brand is. They had Giuseppe Zanotti on, Versace, and Ye Saint Lawrence. They had shoes that cost anywhere from one thousand to fourteen hundred dollars a piece. So man, you had all eyes on you. Even Tupac was watching you. You had everybody watching. You had Frank Frank Nitty and everybody watching you. Frankie Bones and they don't even do shit no more. They like how in the hell is she coming up in the ranks now? Not to mention the three styles by Shay custom made outfits for the lucky team. Damn. I mean, mama went all out for her son, and your mamas, y'all go all out for y'all sons, but damn it, make sure it's done on your expense, not the government expense, because they're going to embarrass you, ooh, just like right now. See, all that right there, people in Philly probably still talking about that part till this news come out. Now they'll talk about it again. Oh, did you remember Miss uh Miss Shula Party? Oh man, she had it going on over there. She had T Charla there. She had Killmonger himself. And I forgot the guy Morgan Freeman played played. But anyway, she had everybody, including Angela Bassett. And you don't think that's gonna get back to these people? Now, at the time, the mom told the New York Post, he struggled a lot when I was sick. I couldn't walk. I couldn't go to the bathroom on my own, but damn it, you was able to go to the bank and cash that check. You was able to go to your restaurant and fry up that fried chicken. I love me some fried chicken. The hell of what y'all saying. Now, you was able to do all that for other people, but you can't do a damn thing for yourself. Don't that sound very crazy? Hmm. So I guess you only got tired and broke down and sick and disabled when you went back behind closed doors and been the public. Damn, you got more health than a 25-year-old. 
Let's go and finish your story. Now, he had to go through all that and still go to school. And I said to myself one day, if I make it through this, I'm going to make his prom the best. And yes, it's the best, but also the last. And you know, we only have one prom. Some of us here be trying to go to two, three, and four. Some people still be in college trying to go to damn high school proms. I don't know what's up with that. Now, this year, she threw a Black Panther theme prom sent off with an actual Panther for her neighborhood kids. She said the party cost was in the six figures. Like, damn, six figures? Now, you're going to need all them figures, you know what I'm saying, to pay you a good lawyer to get this shit off you because it ain't going to get off you. But to, to have it where you won't have to spend that much fed time because this is a federal uh, case because due to the fact you defraud the government, which is federal, it's a very serious matter. But y'all let me know what you all think. And like I said, Baltimore, uh, not Baltimore, damn, why I'm thinking about Baltimore. Uh, Philadelphia, you know, like I said, I got much love for you all. Don't hate the messenger. I'm just the messenger. I'm just putting it out there. I know a lot of you all dreams are shattered. A lot of you all probably still have the picture of the camel. You stand beside the camel like this and shit. I know somebody got that damn picture. But don't feel embarrassed, though. It's not y'all fault. You know what I'm saying? When you play stupid games, you're going to always win a stupid prize. Like I said, I understand the mom trying to look out for her son. But hey, hey, you cannot go around lying and basically stealing the money in a certain way. Because this is what would happen. Let me know what you all think about this story. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share your video with your with your uh, friends uh, who like to spoil their kids too damn much. You are making these damn uh, children into mama's boys and stuff. Mama's girl. Well, it's okay for a girl to be a mama girl, but mama boys and stuff. You should have just gave that boy a hundred damn dollars and told him to uh, and, and go rent a damn limousine or something. That would have been it. None of this shit wouldn't have happened. But due to the fact you want to ball out of control, as they say, ball to your fall and you know what happened to everybody had that slogan ball to your fall they ass fell show a shit stink anyway let this be a lesson to you all get your money the right way so nobody can't take shit can't nobody say nothing i'm out